we recently did a video where we shared some tips and tricks on putting your Mustang away for the winter time. And a lot of you guys had commented saying, hey, not everybody can put their Mustang away. And we do agree with that. Well, if you do drive a Mustang and are stuck driving it in the winter time, well, Terry will give you a couple tricks on making it through the winter safely with your Mustang. Now, the first thing we're going to discuss is tires. And when it comes to a rear wheel drive car like the Mustang, tires are going to make a huge difference on how well your car does in the winter weather. Now, if your car has something like this, this is the Nitto Invo. These are the G2s from Nitto, the Pilot Super Sport, the factory Pirelli P0s. These are summer tires. You know, this tread is designed for maximum traction on dry roads. Now, I do have channels, they will work in the wet as well. These are absolutely not meant for winter use, especially because the compound they use in these tires, when it gets colder, these will actually get harder and make traction even worse. Some tires like the Pilot Super Sport, even said right on there, do not drive when they're less than 50 degrees because the compound of these rubbers are not meant for the winter time. If you're driving in the winter, this is what you want right here. Now, obviously not a 14 inch like we're showing, but you want a snow tire. Now again, putting them all four will definitely help with traction, but you definitely want them at least in the rear. Now, if you look at the tread on a snow tire, the tread's much deeper. There's more grooves, there's more cuts. This is designed to get traction in snow, sleet, ice, whatever the winter's gonna show. And if you look closely, there's actually a little cutouts here to even add studs. Studs will give you even more traction, especially on ice. Now, while we're on the topic of traction, if you have a newer Mustang, they have traction control built in, obviously leave it on all the time in the wintertime. If you have one of the brand new Mustangs with the mode selectors, there actually is a snow and wet mode. If you flip through, comes to snow and wet. Now this is not magical traction in the snow. What this is gonna do is make the throttle actually very, very unsensitive. So when you give it gas, it's not gonna shock the tires too badly. But the best way to get traction is to add some weight. And once you have a good all season or snow tire, you wanna get some weight over the rear tires. Now the best way to do it, in my opinion, is a couple bags of sand or a couple bags of salt. Usually two 50 pound bags will be enough to give you some decent traction. Plus, if you do get a situation where you're stuck, both salt or sand can be used for traction. Now, I would stay away from like barbell plates and stuff like that, unless you have a proper way to secure those, they can be very dangerous in the trunk of your car. The next thing we're gonna discuss is fuel. If you're gonna drive your Mustang in the wintertime in bad weather, you wanna keep the gas tank as full as possible. And there's a bunch of different reasons for that. Reason number one is condensation. The more fuel you have in the tank, the less chance of water getting in the tank, which can cause poor performance, even cause the engine to shut off. Secondly is weight. Gas is about six pounds or so a gallon, so a full tank of gas adds another 70, 80 pounds right where you want it over the back tires. And the last one, which of course you hope it never happens, but if you were to get stuck somewhere and couldn't get out for a while, having more fuel in the car means you can run it and stay warm. Next thing we're gonna talk about is under the hood. I and mean, obviously you wanna make sure mechanically everything is in good shape. Then get to your cooling system. Make sure you have the proper coolant, something that's good for the winter, that it's not water or anything like that. You know, if it's a newer Mustang, obviously it's gonna have coolant in it. But a lot of guys, myself included, will run water in the summertime. So again, make sure your coolant's right and you're gonna wanna test it. Also, windshield washer fluid. If you're driving in the winter, you're gonna use a lot of it. Make sure it's full, make sure it's the correct style. And all season will work fine, just make sure it's good down below zero so it works when it's cold out. They do make some de-icing versions which will work even better. The last thing, make sure you check your battery. Make sure the battery is good, it holds a charge. The winter time is going to challenge your battery. So again, make sure your battery's in good working order. And while you're at it and you're under the hood, it's not a bad idea to replace your wiper blades. So the last thing we're gonna discuss is de-icing. So when you go to drive your car in the morning, it's gonna probably have ice and snow and sleet and whatever else you have going on, especially even if it's not even snowing, your windows will still ice up overnight. Now what you wanna do here is a couple different products we would recommend keeping handy. The first is WD-40. What are you gonna use this for? Put it on all the rubber seals on the door. That'll allow you to actually get the door open and it'll stop the door from freezing to the body in the winter time. Lock the icer is an excellent thing to keep on you. Obviously don't leave it in the car because the doors are locked and you can't get in, then you're gonna want that. Now again, most modern cars are gonna have a keyless entry, but if they don't, definitely keep some de-icer inside where it's handy. Also a good quality scraper, so you can scrape the windows off and make it safe to drive. Now the last thing I recommend is a snow broom. Now, I know some of you are gonna look at this and be like, there's no way I'm putting that on my paint. If you do drive your car in the winter, I hope you have a good coat of wax and even better, some sort of a ceramic coating on. Something like this, the foam will not hurt the paint at all since usually there's ice underneath the snow anyway. So this will allow you to quickly clean the snow off your car because in many states where you're driving, if you have snow on the car and it flies off and hits another car and causes an accident, it's gonna be your fault. So you definitely wanna make sure the car is clean before you drive it. Now I still hope most of you have a nice warm dry garage where you can put your Mustang away for the winter, do a bunch of modifications and get it ready for the spring. But if you don't and you are stuck driving it in bad weather, well hopefully these tips and tricks will help you get your Mustang through the winter.